Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Assassin's Creed Origins, The Curse of the Pharaohs DLC Expansion. Now, in this video, we're going to do an achievement video and uh, show you guys how to get the Dark Horse achievement. Now, what you're going to have to do is uh, fast travel to this area, which is Set Ma'at, and that's uh, right around the uh, Theban ne Necropolis. Okay. Now, what you need to do, um, you would probably be at this point right here, the level 49 main quest, Blood in the Water. So you have to be within um, that um, that particular point in the campaign right here. Or you, you can just uh, keep on checking when, uh, whatever feels best for you right here. Now what you need to do is go to the stables right here, interact with this person, and then uh, go ahead and start buying. All right. Now, if uh, if you don't see the Eternal Maw on your screen, then uh, that means you have to keep on grinding the campaign a little bit more. Keep on checking and checking with the stables until this pops up. Okay, so that's the Eternal Maw Legendary Mount. Um, you can buy it for 5,000 uh, uh, Drachma, which we will do right now. So, Oh, and by the way, before I purchase it, you cannot... Um, you cannot use the maw in the afterlife, because that that doesn't count for the achievement. You have to use it outside the afterlife. So let let's go ahead and buy this now. There we go. Oh, and we get the achievement right away. All right, acquire the eternal maw for use outside the afterlifes. Okay, we'll get out of that, and we'll go ahead and. Equip our new mount. Uh, where is it here? There it is. Okay. So we'll check the map again. So this is basically the outside part of the uh, of the afterlife here. All right. So that's right around the Valley of the Kings, Theban area, all over the Ubunome and the Waset Desert. So that's the area you have to be in order in order to get the achievement. Okay, and um, let's just uh, quickly call our mount and we'll be done with it. There he is, right here. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Does look more like a feral horse to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's how you get the dark horse achievement. Um, so yeah, ba basically, whoops. Basically, try and be at this point right here. Then check with the stables. Just just keep on checking and checking and checking until you see Eternal Maw. All you have to do is buy it. But as long as you have 5,000 Drachma on you. If you do, the achievement is yours. Simple as that. You don't necessarily have to finish the campaign. You can do it probably halfway through. Probably halfway through. Okay, so I hope this explanation works out pretty well. And on that note, we are going to wrap it up right here. But this is this is nowhere close to the end of the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC expansion. We still got plenty to go, so stay tuned to the channel for a lot more fun and excitement. And if you are if you are a subscriber here, you love the gameplay content so far, hit that subscribe button. We have just been killing it with subs as of late. I think we hit probably almost 50 subs within three weeks. That is incredible. Thank you very very much for that support as of late. We are so close to 600, I can taste it. <laughs> I know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, without further ado, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.